Hello friends, this video on Organic Chemistry Basics Part 47 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So till now what we have done, we have given the steps to find if carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur etc. exist in the organic compound along. But we have not done uh, steps to find the concentration of carbon because if carbon exists or nitrogen exists, we also want to know how much percentage of organic compound has carbon and how much is hydrogen. So to estimate that, we'll use this methods now and we'll try to estimate carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, halogens, phosphorus and we'll also try for oxygen. Let's try for carbon and hydrogen. So in carbon hydrogen, if you know, uh, to the ways to detect the carbon hydrogen was we used to heat this uh, carbon or hydrogen in presence of copper oxide, right? And then we used to get CO2 and H2O. This was what we used to use to detect carbon and hydrogen. Now we'll use the same, almost similar method to estimate carbon and hydrogen. So same, if you see the same apparatus here, here you have my organic compound, I heat it. You uh, get this, this is a copper sulfate actually. If you, it, it becomes uh, blue, that means water is there. This is my lime water. If it uh, turns out to be turbid, it is nothing but it, it turns out to be milky. That, that is, it has CO2, right? This gives my presence of CO2 and this gives presence of H2O, correct? And this is my equation. If I have my organic compound CXHY, that means it X moles of um, carbon and Y moles of hydrogen, and then it reacts with the oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water. And this will be my balanced equation, correct? Now, if I want to find the percentage of carbon, what should we do? So, the mass of water, since water is reacting with this guy, is determined by weighing this uh, guy, anhydrous calcium chloride. Correct? And similarly, if you want to find the mass of carbon dioxide, then we have to see how much carbon dioxide is absorbed in this lime water. Right? Because these two places reaction happen, right? Water reacted with calcium sulfate or calcium chloride, change the color, and carbon dioxide reacted with this guy, lime water to turn it milky. So we have to see how much of these are consumed. Correct? That means with that I can find how much of water and carbon dioxide is produced, right? Because these were used to do these two reactions, right? So with that we can find how much carbon dioxide and water is produced. Correct. So they told the change in the mass of this guy, calcium chloride or calcium sulfate, whatever you want to you have used, and this potassium hydroxide. This will give you the amount of carbon dioxide and water that is produced. And with that, I can easily find the amount of carbon and hydrogen. Correct. See, one mole of CXHY gives X mole of carbon dioxide. So let me write this. So let, let me write in this chart uh, slide now. So let's in, let's suppose we have m gram of uh, organic compound taken, and I got m1 gram of water and m2 gram of carbon dioxide. Correct. So now, if you see one mole of organic compound, one mole of my organic compound. I am trying for the CO2 now, will give X moles of CO2, correct, and this will give Y by 2 moles of H2, correct. This is what we can deduce from this balanced equation. So This one mole of organic compound has what 12x gram of carbon, right? So you can say that 12x gram of carbon, because this is what you have in this organic compound, will give x mole of carbon dioxide means carbon dioxide molecule mass is 44, 44x gram of carbon dioxide, and water is what 18. So y by 2 into 18 gram of what? Correct. So my 44 gram of carbon dioxide gives implies this much carbon is there, right? So 
if I so let me let me topple this equation. So with this, if I'm trying for carbon dioxide, that means I can say that 44 gram, write this once again, 44 gram of carbon dioxide if I have got from this uh, reaction, this implies, oh sorry, 44 x gram of carbon dioxide if I have got from this reaction, that means 12 x gram of carbon was present in organic compound. Correct? See, if I got x moles of carbon dioxide, that means one mole of organic compound was there. That is, if I have got 44 x gram of carbon dioxide, that means 12 x gram of carbon was there in the organic compound. So if I have got one gram of carbon dioxide, then how many uh, gram of carbon was there? That means 12 by x by 44 by x, x, x cancel, right? So I have 12 by 44 gram of carbon. Right? If I had got 1 gram of carbon dioxide, but how much I have got? I have got m1 gram. So in that case, if I have got m1 gram of carbon dioxide, this implies I have got 12 by 44 into m1. This is my gram of carbon in organic compound. Correct. Since I have got mn gram of carbon dioxide here, that means this much gram of carbon was there in the organic compound. So you want to find percentage, it's pretty simple. This much is the output and this was the input. So this by this into 100, that is 12 by 44 into m1, this guy by m because this was the total mass of the organic compound into 100. So if you see, this is what you get. If you want to find the percentage of carbon, this value you have got. Sorry, I had M2 gram of carbon dioxide. So let me use M2 here, right? So this is, is the amount of carbon you got or amount of carbon in the organic compound. This is amount of carbon in the uh, total mass of the organic compound into 100. That's how you go find the percentage, right? So percentage of carbon in the organic compound is nothing but mass of carbon divided by total mass into 100. So mass of carbon is 12 M2 by 44. Total mass is M. And 100 human life. Similarly, for hydrogen, if you do, it will come out to be 2m1 because this guy will be the, if you see, 2 by 18, right? So, if you see, if I want, I can show you. This is what you get. If you see, uh, let me write it actually in this place. So, y by 2 into 18 gram of water if you get this implies h into y right and that is 1 into y that is y gram of hydrogen in organic compound if i have got y by 2 into 18 gram of water as output as output that that implies y gram of hydrogen in the organic compound so for i got how much m1 for m1 gram of water you get how much it will be so it will be y by y by 2 right y by y by 2 by 18 then it becomes 18 into m1 m1 so this is what you will get 2 by 18 into m1 this is the mass of hydrogen in the organic compound so this by total mass of organic compound into 100 is a percentage of hydrogen. Correct? So this is how you get. Let's take some numerical on this. So the question is why is potassium hydroxide used to absorb carbon dioxide that is evolved during estimation. See, we don't want to lose carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide will give you correct estimate. So what we do is since carbon dioxide is acidic, so what we do, we take CoH, potassium hydroxide, it's a very strong base. Then you have acid base reaction. So all the CO2 which is produced is absorbed by this carbon dioxide with this reaction. 2KOH plus CO2 gives K2O3 plus water. Correct. So that is why we use this strong base to absorb all the carbon dioxide which is evolved during the experiment. Let's take one more example. So we have an organic compound which has 69% carbon. This is 69%. Hydrogen we have 4.8%. 
and the remainder is oxygen we have some oxygen so if you subtract this you will get something that's it, x percent we have to find the mass of carbon dioxide produced so this will give you a carbon dioxide and water right you have to find the mass of carbon dioxide produced when the and water produced when 2 gram of this substance is subjected to combustion so you take 2 gram of this substance right and you have to find the mass of carbon dioxide see directly you can use formula if you want or you can use logic also let's use directly formula first so if you see the reaction it is like this you have some organic compound right you oxidize it you get carbon dioxide and water so directly if you use the formula percent this carbon came out to be 12 by 44 into mass of co2 gas right by mass of substance organic substance into 100 so if you put the values percentage carbon is given 69 percent is equal to 12 by 44 mass of carbon dioxide something you have to find mass of substance is given 2 grams correct so if you solve this and let this value be m so you get m to be 0 0.506 gram correct similarly you can find the percentage of hydrogen so percentage of hydrogen is nothing but we just found 2 by 18 mass of water formed by mass of organic substance correct so percentage hydrogen is 4.8 that is nothing but 2 by 18 mass of water formed is what you have to find let this be h and organic substance mass is 2 you solve this you get h is 0 0.0864 grams easy thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again